Alright, I'm playing more Why Am I Dead at Sea. And I have been sort of at a standstill progress-wise, I feel. Like, I feel a little guilty last part that it seemed most of the time was spent reading old dialogues, it seemed. So I kind of want to find out what to do. And I don't know why I came in here. Um, I, I just feel like there's something I should be able to find in here. Like the blood stain or something, but no, it doesn't seem to be. Anywho, um, what was I saying? I want to find progress, so, just to let you know if there's like a weird cut and, you know, whatever. If I have to cut to progress, I'll cut to progress. But for now, I'm just going to list out my thoughts. One thing I want to do is I want to take over Ferdinand's. Wait, what was I thinking? There was something I was thinking about. Gone. Never mind. Oh, yes. No, no. Here we go. Here we go. Just to see. This is for my own curiosity. Two things. Here we go. I'm not finning a darn sentence. I want to see what Mercurio sees again. Like, there's- there's- I don't know if he's seeing water vision or something, but I remember before... He- yeah, he saw this trail leading from outside to, like, the cleaning cabinet. Now he sees the trail- or the- the splatter over here. Does he see anything near Paolo's room? And if he does, where does it lead? Is what I was wondering. Because this seems to be pretty telling, whatever this is. I don't know if it's water- if it is water, that would make sense that it's in its kitchen, I guess. But it goes to there, we already knew about that. But is there anywhere else? Like, Paolo. I want to know about Paolo. Nothing? Can I not go in there? Gotcha. That's fine, I'll leave you there, man. I- I don't know anything else to do with that. Oh, another thing. That cat. I did not know that talking with it to other people would be such a good way to get information. Where is it? Oops, sorry. Um, for one thing, I just want to remind myself of what Garv said to the cat when it talked to him. Like, that, that was so big of a thing for me. Because it was so, like, he said something about a paper. And I figure if I can find what the paper means, I, I could know a lot. Good work last night. See, last night so much happened. That's when Donovan got murdered and Paolo got kidnapped. I think kidnapped, hopefully. Uh, good work last night. You're a very obedient pet and more clever than some humans I know, yada yada. Between that and the page, I think it should be enough. That and the pay- okay, so it's- it's done something else besides- oh! Here we go. Wait a second. Pieces coming together in my brain. Between that and the page. Be too- oops, I've- I've done everything wrong here. Okay, I meant to press Y. Apologize. Um... What? Oh, goodness. Thoughts going all crazy around my brain here. Goodness, what if... He, uh, he doesn't have a key in his brain. Uh, what does he think, though? What is he thinking? I have to play it safe. Those cameras nearly ruined everything. Things only get worse from here. Everyone here, I think everyone here is lying. I can use this. We can't stay here. Oh, uh, something, something's fishy. He's feeling, like, awfully guilty. Here's the thing, though, what I'm thinking. What I was really gonna use the cat for was to talk to Ferdinand, though, but whatever. Here we go. What I'm thinking is he used the cat. He, ha he had the spare key to plant. I don't know how he got it, but he got it somehow. He probably bribed Mercurio or Sue into giving it to him or something, somehow. They probably had access somehow. Like, Sue stole one, Mercurio stole the other. Something like that, and he, he's he's doing the notes, he's doing the notes, isn't he? But, here's the thing, the cat can open up doors! And so if he, well I guess, no, never mind, my theory's gone now, because if he had the key to plant, then he would have just planted the darn key, he would have used it to open the door. Well, there's that gone. Oh, the cat could have opened the door somehow, though, that's what I'm thinking, is it crawled through the vents? It's a very smart cat, it could have crawled through any number of vents, and and open them, because it can go into Donovan's room even through the vents, so 
it could have done something there. Whatever, that, um, anywho. It's just, everybody seems to be giving some special information to the cat, and I'm wondering, did, um, did Ferdinand do such a thing? Or no, the cat just doesn't like Ferdinand, right? Right, yeah, no, I've, I've seen this, oops. Um, so that's nothing. Okay, good. Well, there's my attempt at progress. Let me, uh, let me try Sue again. I feel like I haven't done everything with Sue. I feel like she still has her guts to spill somewhere, right? Like, Daryl... Daryl would hear her out, right? He knows about her thieving ways. I Again, I don't know whether to go full control or partial control. Because it doesn't seem to make a difference. Either way, I still can't talk to these people. I What am I doing wrong? Everything, it seems, has been chosen. Let me take over Ferdinand's and check out one other thing now that I'm thinking about it. I want to get the cleaning closet again. I think I checked it out as Donovan, but I only just barely read it because I was so excited about getting him killed. <laughs> um, can I open it? I have the key, surely. No? Can I talk to the passengers again? Uh, hello everyone, I just want to let everyone know there is no reason to be alarmed. I hope you enjoy the rest of your cruise. By the way, is there anyone on board who knows how to steer a boat? Haha, <laughs> just joking. <sighs> you goofball. Now that you've said that, I might go try to steer the boat again. Don't know what that's gonna do for me, but... Any way to make progress, right? Uh, can, oh wait, can I, you go into... Paolo's room? You can! Is there anything you can look at in here, ma'am? You can see the blood. You're not just gonna. You're not gonna comment on it. Nothing. Gosh darn. Huh. He's already been into. Um. This is just a spare room, right? Now it's not the time to sleep. Okay, now you say something. Um. He's already been to like everybody's room, right? If I can- oh, I can't fully control him. Or anything like that. I can't really get him to see what Markirio's hiding. Can I get him to look at this? Massive hole, blah blah blah. No. Okay. Okay, here we go. Didn't realize I just possessed Kayla. This has been like tw freaking 20 minutes. It's insane. But I just possessed Kayla normally. And now I can talk to Garv about something else, I guess. Uh, do you think there's anything we can do to find the killer? This is gonna be a good question. This is exactly what I want to know. I don't know. I'm not exactly a private eye. Yeah, you've proved me wrong there, Garv. You've been kind of interrogating everybody. By casting suspicion off yourself, huh? That's what it does? Anywho, sorry. Uh, I'm, I'm just so excited that I'm getting something to read because I've just been sitting here silently walking around. Uh, but you'd think that between the captain, Donovan, and Paolo, they'd have slipped up somewhere at least. In addition, there's the matter of Gwen. If she really is being framed, maybe there's something there. Oh, exclamation point! My god, progress. Progress is found. My goodness. I'm gonna do the blue one first and then the exclamation point. Where would I look to prove Gwen is innocent? If the key was planted in a room, that clears her. Simple as that. Now, if it was planted, that seems to point towards one of the staff members. Only they could- or only they knew where they would search, so they could be sure the plant was found. See, the fact is, he is weaving such a tale for himself, such a thorough, like... Well, of course, A leads to B, and leads to C. But what he's not saying is, his plan was that for everybody to think that, well, he went off to X and then to C or something, you know? It, he took an alternate route, and I think he's just a trickster. I don't trust Garv. Anywho, uh, only they knew where they would search, and they could be sure where the plant was found. Do you know any of the staff members that might be capable of pulling off something like that? Uh, where would I look for clues about Donovan or Paolo? Well, 
The staff said they searched everyone's rooms already, but, well, I don't think it hurt to take a second look at Paolo's room. Paolo's room? Why in specific? Everyone says he always stayed in his room. Odds are, it's the scene of a crime. There is blood there, that's pretty fair. Uh, I already asked the first mate to let me in, but he said he wanted, to clo wanted it closed down, afraid people might tamper with evidence. If someone could get in there though, I wonder what they'd find. How could someone get into Paolo's room? As far as I can tell, only Ferdinand has a way in, and he's not gonna share it. I don't know how this would help, but my cat has a way of sneaking into any room she wants. Hey, we're all in this together, right? Uh, yeah, you're not, man. You are not. You're saying that to play with my mind. He's just a, a trickster. I'm so suspicious of him, honestly. Either that or Ferdinand. I think I've ruled out everyone else. In my head, at least. Uh, let me unlock this door, though. It, 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 pretty, it gave me pretty uh, clear instructions to do so. Door is locked from the inside. Hell's just no reach. Did not know I'd have to do that. I guess I knew the cat was useful. Given that I've been, like, interviewing everybody with the cat. Do I have to use Kayla to do this? I don't want to use Garv. I don't want to let him know what he left behind. Kayla, please, let's let's continue your investigation, even if it kills you. Gar, let me just warn you, Kayla. Garv is going to follow in behind you and stab you. With a knife or something? It'll be painful and awful. And no one will hear your screams. But that's okay. Let's do this. What can you look at? The suitcase is open, and there are clothes spilling out of it. Investigate, yeah, why not? The suitcase contains clothes, crumpled pictures, and some textbooks. Look at the pictures. There's a picture of a boy and what appears to be a husband and wife standing beside him. They're dressed formally, and are standing in a very exquisitely furnished room. I guess this is Paolo and his parents, huh? They don't seem to like smiling for the camera. What about the textbooks? There's textbooks for essay writing, biology, American history, and trigonometry. Trigonometry? Isn't that high school math? How old was this kid? Apparently very mathy of a kid. Bed sheets have been pulled all over the place. Investigate. After searching through the bed sheets and under the bed, nothing of note was found. If Paolo went missing overnight, could this have been where the struggle started? Yeah, he was sitting here all the time, so probably. Oh, I can't look at the dinosaur toys. I don't really want to though, it's kinda sad. There's a book on the ground. It's titled Overcoming Shyness. It seems to be a self-help book. Oh, poor kid. Me too, man. Me too. The pages are bent and crumbled by the way it's been thrown to the ground. Oh, that's a that's a big investigation. I'm gonna wait and look at everything else. Teddy bear looks like a li looks a little beat up. Strange. When I look at this doll, I get a weird feeling, like it's looking back at me. Uh, let me see the blood. A couple of the drawers have been pulled out. On the side of the dresser, it is that blood. It's pretty obviously blood. I could see it from here. Let's look at the drawers. Most of the drawers simply contain clothes and have nothing interesting in them. The drawer hanging open at, on the top, however, has a bracelet resting on some socks. The bracelet and socks have been stained red with blood. It has the letter M engraved on it. Hmm. Wait, let me read that again. All clothes. Bracelet. So the bracelet stained with blood. Oh, that's interesting, right? Was someone searching for something in there? Why are they all open? What? And it, it was a letter M. Is this just like a family heirloom of his? The only M we have is Mercurio, right? And I don't really think he would have done this. Maybe. I, I'm still thinking he might be an accomplice of Garv's, so... I don't know. Investigate the blood. Is this Paolo's blood? My god. It looks like he was really smashed into the side of the dresser really hard. Who would do this just to a child? Or to just a child? I am uh, slaughtering this. I apologize. 
Let's do this one now. I didn't know that the shyness book would be the one that would make progress, but whatever. Investigate it. The book is open to page 105. There doesn't seem to be anything out of the ordinary about it. Wait a second. The next page is missing. It looks like it got torn out somehow. There's only a jagged scrap left. That... Oh, I don't know why, but this seems like a really important detail. I should remember this. It might come up again later. When is it gonna come up? Oh yeah, guys, uh, if you found a page in, of a book... Oh, wait, wait, wait! Oh my god! That did it, that did it in my head for a second. Um, see here? Uh, he says... Good work. Blah, blah, blah. Between that and the page. Something, he, he's the one, he's the guy, he's the guy, he's the murderer, right? That's it, that... How much more incriminating can you get? That's, that's, that's it. That's, there's nothing else to say about that. I can't think of anything that would thoroughly incriminate him more. Did Kayla go back to her room? Where is she? Did I leave her in there? Oh god, is she murdered too? Kayla, don't do this. Where'd you go? Are you in the bathroom? Where did you- where did you go? Please, Kayla. Please, Kayla. Where did Kayla go? I don't know why I'm checking everywhere she wouldn't be, but I didn't see her upstairs. Oh, there she is. Thank goodness, Kayla. Don't do this to me. Now, you learned some information. You've got to be able to relay it to someone, right? That can't be where my progress ends. You got something to say here. Oh, yep. Yeah. Here we go. The M for Markirio. Hey, did you lose a bracelet recently by any chance? Oh, let me guess. Did that little garbage give it to you? That's just great. What? Oh, the kid? I was looking for it. Oh, wait, I was looking for it all. Wait, what's wrong? Oh, I guess he was gonna say all day. I was wondering, what what, what all are you looking for? It's one bracelet. I apologize. Uh, I found a bracelet with a letter M on it. In Paolo's room. Covered in blood. No way. Uh, just a second ago I was talking about a different bracelet. Yeah. Backtrack, man. Do it. Um, don't lie. It's M for Mercurio. Obviously, it's yours. All right, all right, yeah, it's mine. It was a gift. Shouldn't have even kept the darn thing. What were you doing in Paolo's room, Arcurio? I never went in there, I swear. I mean, not by myself. Sure, I went in with Elton, Sue, and Ferdinand for the search. That's when we found the kid was missing. Don't lie, there was blood on it. That was the only time. I never went in that room before or after, I swear to goodness. There's no way you would have left the bracelet in there during the search. You're not telling me the truth. Darn right. No, I didn't leave the bracelet in during the search. I barely entered the room. But I never went in at any other time either. Look, it was that stupid cat. I ran into it last night. And it started attacking me. It went completely nuts. I was caught off guard, and when I reacted, the bracelet kind of flew off. The cat must have nabbed it and carried it around for a while. I just assumed it gave it to you, like a gift or something. I had no idea it would put it in Paolo's room, of all places. What would other people think if they heard about this? They probably wouldn't like you, man. But I, tr I, I kind of trust that, because what Garv said, the page and the other thing. This is the other thing. The bracelet and the page. So maybe the bra- or the- I mean the page is incriminating someone else. It would be interesting. Anyway, uh, what would other people think if they heard about this? Hey, hold up. Look. You have to- Wait a sec. How did you get into that room anyway? Wasn't it supposed to be sealed off to passengers? 
Does it matter? There was even blood on your bracelet. It kind of matters, considering you weren't supposed to be in there in the first place. When we did a search of the ship, there was multiple people so we could all back up what we saw. You went in there by yourself and could have tampered with things without anyone knowing. Well, the door was unlocked. Oh god. Garve led me right into this. He knew this would happen. What a jerk. Mastermind, I tell you. Well, the door was unlocked. So you're saying you broke in and no one can back you up? Look, I never set foot in there besides the search, and I sure never left anything of mine in there. I wonder if anyone saw the cat moving around with my bracelet. That'd validate my story. Maybe it would try and give it to its owner as a gift or something. Do I ask him now? If Garv... That would be a stupid move. What I'm thinking maybe I'll try to do is go back to, um... Maybe I'll try to talk- Can you get out of my way, Sue? For goodness sake. I'm gonna try talking to... I guess everybody, see if they saw anything. But, um... Ferdinand? can't tell for it. Can I, um, fully possess? I don't He did mention owner specifically, as in maybe he gave it to a gift for an owner. I was gonna try going to Ferdinand and looking at the security camera in and, and Donovan's room again. I don't think that would have done anything, though. Especially since it stopped, didn't it? After, um, after the, uh, second day. Anywho, I do apologize. I'm sorry. I, it's getting long, isn't it? Or is it? I don't know. My timer's all off because I spent 20 minutes searching, but I think it's getting long. I'm gonna start up a new part, so I apologize. But, yeah, cutting it.